Is it what your title in it is? Or is it just an Eros love? Because at times we mismanage our emotions and we make a relationship more than what it is. When in actuality, it just might be less than what you estimated it to be. It's not an unconditional relationship. It's not a loyal relationship. That person is not that much invested in you. Or you need to tear down your baggage and deal with it and accept one thing when the love is unconditional, when the love is loyal. And know the difference between fake and genuine. Because the more you understand that, the more you understand how to label people. You become better at labeling. You become better at connecting. You become better at self-care. Because under emotional management is labeling your relationships appropriately as they should be labeled. Not as the impression you want to give the world. Labeling them appropriately. The final episode I was going to cover and I am going to cover is on the different love languages how we express love with one another and the crazy part is people say they don't know their love language but people express love out of their love language the way you want to receive love is how you express love that's how simple life is and when you look at it that way you become humble and then you gain a deeper understanding of yourself so I'm glad we covered the different types of love tonight Because we only can grow from it, number one. Number two, we label relationships appropriately. We don't confuse some. Sometimes during the process of love, you need a sounding board. And with that sounding board, you need to bounce off all the details of your experience so people can help you get clarity. A second pair of eyes is never bad. Unless that person is delusional. They look at the world in a skewed way. Other than that, having a sounding board to help bounce off all your thoughts and emotions pertaining to a person can only benefit you. And you walk away understanding how to Connect with that person at the level that you see fit. So I'm excited. Continue to inbox me. Continue to call or text. I enjoy them all. And a session, remember, for 30 minutes is free. So call, text, DM, email. So we can start this journey. Because I cover many topics. But I don't want people to lose sight of the chance to be life coached in certain areas. To be groomed in such a way that you're no longer talking about your goals. You're living them. So I encourage you to keep tuning in. Keep reaching out. Stay connected. Where there's fear, there's no life. And if you're 
battling with anxiety or fear of calling or texting, let go of it. Let go of it. This concludes our episode on the different types of love. This is Life Coaching with Ink, ER. Tune in this Thursday as we cover the different love languages of love.